Hi, I'm Karina Kittles Karsten, and today I'm here with a very special friend of mine, David Loy. David is an evolutionary system scientist who has taught at Princeton and UCLA School of Medicine. He is a Darwinian authority with five books to date on Darwin, and he's the award-winning author of Healing of a Nation. So today we're going to be talking about your book that he is just releasing called Darwin in Love. So David, please tell me about your fascination with Charles Darwin. Well, it came about because I, I became involved with a, uh, a multinational group of, of researchers in advanced evolution and we worked together for a number of years and I kept Slowly it sunk in on me, you know, I really hadn't read the basic works of Darwin. I had accepted what I was told, and I said, here was this man who was a wonderful person, personally, wonderful life, family life, and so on. And this, what was being degraded into survival of the fittest and selfishness above all, didn't click. I, so I started reading. And I was astounded, absolutely astounded, at the other side of Darwin, that I found that it was being ignored, ignored for over a hundred years. I love the way you describe a story in the beginning of how you couldn't sleep. <laughs> it was the middle of the night, and you couldn't sleep because the subject matter was really on your mind. So tell me that story. Fortunately, I was working with a computerized version of The Descent of Man, so I fit into it. And The Descent of Man is the book of Charles Darwin. It's the central book that he wrote where he said, in effect, now, after writing The Origin of Species, he says, in effect, now I'm going to move on to look at our species. I'm going to look at human evolution. I first fit into the computer, this phrase that we identify Darwin on, mm -hmm. Survival of the Fittest, discovered that he had written only twice this is a book of 898 pages, fine print. Mm. He'd only written twice about uh, survival of the fittest, once to apologize for ever using the term. And that's what he's been known for. That's what he is known survival for. Survival of the fittest. I thought, well, now what's the opposite of survival of the fittest? Well, love. Bing, I tried love. It clicked through 95 times. 95 he, times. He had written about love in The Descent of Man, and there was only one entry in the index to love. 95 times, so I thought, hey, something is wrong here. Amazing. But then I put in moral sensitivity. He had written 92 times about moral sensitivity, and this was his big <laughs> thing. It, That's incredible. Blanked out for over a hundred years. It was just mind-blowing. How do you think it got so screwed up that he became well known for his theory of evolution and, and it was all about surviving and uh, competing? How do you think it got screwed up where it was, it was more so at what you're saying, it was about love and cooperation? Get ready for Darwin in love. <laughs> Thank you so much, David, for my dear, dear friend doing amazing work in the world. And we need to hear more about the importance of love compelling us forward as society, as a planet. So thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Karina Kittles-Karsten from sacredlove.com.